We are finally here, the World T20 final, England taking on Australia, Sir Vivian Richards Stadium, and the concert is kicking off. It's going to be a great night. Mel, how did the team shape up? What are your thoughts? Oh, look, thoughts. First of all, all my senses are getting bombarded. <laughs> Noise, band, amazing. The smell of the barbecue. But visually, I've been watching these two teams warm up, and over the last couple of days, I think it's going to come down to who handles the pressure the most. They are so even in the way in which they play the game. But individually, young players, both sides coming to their first World T20 final, how do they manage that? Collectively, Heather Knight's been this really quite fun, relaxed, keeping everyone bubbly. Meg Lanning, serious focus. How do both captains manage it? I reckon that's going to be the crunch. I think you're right, Mel. And I think the wicket as well looks like it'll be a little bit quicker tonight. We are definitely in for a treat. Let's see how it plays out. It is the old foes, Australia versus England. It looks like it. Gone big again. It was the four from the first to six for the second. Sky in the air. There's an opportunity. It's Elise Villani underneath it with the floppy hat, and she's got it. That'll be close. Oh, finger goes up. It took a while. Touch it! Will win. Hasn't hit that too well. Make that four now for mishaps in the field. Up in the air, long on, six. Yeah. All close, very close, given. And England have been bowled out. Australia will need 106 runs to win. 5.3 runs per over. Again, very short. This is poor bowling, this is a poor start from England. Ah! Ball. So again, Elisa Healy just showing her stumps. Oh, ah! gone. Good wicket to get. As Gardner absolutely dispatches a full toss out of the ground. And she has gone downtown. One of the biggest ball strikers in the game. That is huge. And that is out of the park. They tip and run, they get home. Australia, champions 2018. They have now won it four times in the last five occasions. Yeah! The 2018 T20 finals, England, unlucky for them, but Australia, they came out of the blocks and dominated Mel. What was good about that? I, I'm still a little bit baffled about the whole final. There were so many parts of this game that you go, yes, I, I get that, that's clear. But the rest of the stuff, I'm still sort of scratching my head about. The fielding from the Australians to begin with, and even a little bit of Heather Knight's decision with the coin toss to, to do what she did with the amount of dew around. I think it made it harder for them with the ball back end of the innings. But wow, like it's at the end of the day, when you get through to finals, you've just had this phrase, find a way. And unfortunately for England, form hadn't been scintillating coming through. They couldn't just manage to get that fight that they've shown a couple of occasions into this game. Yeah, I think for me, you look at England's batting throughout the tournament. They struggled a little bit. I think it's been patchy at times. Someone's chipped in, whether it be a Nat Siv or a Danny White, but no one's consistently fired. I think that's what Australia's done really well, is Alyssa Healy has fired all the way through the tournament. Then other players can bat around that. And the likes of Ashley Gardner tonight it was really her first standout innings for me. But when she delivered, when you've got that platform set, it really helps. So, And I don't want to give excuses, but you've got to also remember there was no Sarah Taylor and no Catherine Brunt who give a lot of oomph mm. to the England batting lineup. But it was an opportunity for other players to step up. Yeah, I think the, look, the debutants have done well. I thought Sophie Eccleston as well as a young player. That wicket today of Healy was outstanding. It's exactly what you want, but it wasn't to be. So Mel, tell me, what have been some of your favourite moments from Australia's performance? Oh. Where do I start? First of all, Georgia Wareham's run out. When everyone else is panicking, the direct hit got everyone up and going. Ash Gardner, those long bombs were absolutely outstanding. I'm going to keep going you, here. You still, you, you, you've yeah. got more to say, have you? Much more. But, uh, Perry, how, how about no? How yes, about no? How about no? Celebration. Let's go and hear Never from the ever. actual players themselves. Mel's, no more, from the players. Two Elise is better than one yeah. when you're interviewing. So I, look, I think tonight it's a classic case of a bird in the hand yeah, is better than two in the bush, bush. and we've got that bird in our hand. And we've had it up to our back teeth of losing the T20 final and the 50 over final. Now we're back! We've got it back. We've got it back. <laughs> <laughs> All the moon. 
we were pretty nervous until it actually happened, I think. But once it did, we just couldn't contain ourselves, I think. It's been a, a bit period of time since we've won a World Cup, so um, it was just really nice feeling to get out there. We knew that we were sort of close there in that last over. Um, yeah, I don't know. We didn't know what we were going to do and how we were going to do it. We just thought, oh, let's just run out. Um, yeah, it's a pretty amazing feeling. Unbelievable. It's just um, the last sort of 18 months all culminated in that. And I said it out there, win, lose or draw today. I, I was really proud of this group and, and how they've responded to, uh, I guess, everything over the last couple of years and um, but to get the wins even sweeter and um, onwards and upwards I think I think there's areas to improve which is really scary and I think we can just keep getting better and better. Celebrations are going to go on for a little while to be honest. A few um, days? It's, I think it's like we truly deserve and we just need to let it happen and be happy in the moment. I think I've waited nearly 10 years um, to play in a tournament like this and to get the win and um, be so clinical um, yeah it's a bloody good feeling. When I think of team of the tournament, the word contentious comes to mind because everyone has their view on who should be in it. Thankfully, we had an expert panel deciding on the 12, well, an expert panel and you. Yes, I was involved and I brought my expertness to the table. Was it tough? It was actually. So many fabulous performances. I think some were dead set, but some we had to really kind of grind out. But I think we've got a fabulous 12. OK, let's check it out. So the end of a fabulous tournament. I've absolutely loved it myself from the cricket, the crowds, it's been incredible. What about you, Mel? Oh, most definitely. I think all this anticipation from last year's final at Lords, packed ground, we knew that there was millions watching around the world. We've come to the West Indies. We know just how much passion that they bring to an audience here. They brought it in bucket loads. And so that's why when you arrived, you just knew it was going to be a great tournament. I think for me, the biggest thing is knowing how many young girls have been inspired here in the West Indies and around the globe. So we've enjoyed ourselves. We hope you have enjoyed us yourselves as well. And last thing left to say, Mel? Simple. It's the call cry of the whole tournament. Watch, Watch this. this. Watch this. Wait, what, what am I doing here? Yeah. It's the right time now. This is we time now. Let's get a chance to check it out. Oh, oh sorry, what was that? Oh, there goes your mic. <laughs> preview for you, a little preview. Tash, quiet. Sorry. Dead at all. <coughs> Hammer break court was absolutely. You've got to come in at some stage. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 well, I thought you were going to cue me to go in. An adapter plan if a court. Oh. Sorry, that was rude. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> it's your fault. Well, Wait, am I actually doing the wet suit? Right. New Zealand. 
<laughs> um, Kind of do it. I don't like these side cameras because they're the ones you have to worry about. They're the ones that get posted straight to social media. Hashtag WD40. WD40. <laughs> WD40. <laughs>